YouTube family, welcome back to another episode of Two Way in LA. As always, anything I say in this episode, prior episodes, and future episodes is just my personal opinion. You shouldn't take it as fact. You shouldn't take it as law. Always do your own homework and come up with your own conclusions. All right, right about now, fam. Stop what you're doing. Stop. Stop. Don't sit. Stand still. Hit the like button for me. That's all I ask, fam. Hit the like button for your boy. And if you haven't already subscribed, tap, tap the subscribe bell. All right, so look. Uh, also, don't forget about that 2A in LA merch. The link to our merch store is down in the description below. So make sure you check out the, the merch, man. We got some tight gear, all right? And you can also find me on all other media forums, 2A in LA, on uh, Instagram, Facebook. All right, so look, fam, let's get this episode rolling. So, you guys have seen my 2022 handgun collection, my 2022 long gun collection videos. As you can see, the collection is expanding. And the flip side of having an expanding collection is that you also need additional storage, right? Because you have to put your gun someplace. Probably not a good idea to just have them sprawled out on the couch and the, the, the coffee table and the dining room table all around the crib, right? You have to find safe ways to store your firearms. So I'm always on the lookout for uh, things like that, right? And so one of the things that you guys have been hitting me up about is, find, is doing a, a review on a desktop gun safe. And I thought that that was dope. And given how my expansion has has ex my collection has expanded, I really kind of developed a need for one. And so I started doing my homework on safes, kind of what I'll call the gold standard, um, based on what a lot of people say is the Vault-Tex MX series safe. So I did hit up Vault-Tex, ask them to send me a safe so that I could review it for the channel. Haven't heard back from them. In the meantime, in the process of doing my homework on desktop safes, I ran across what I think is a winner, y'all, <laughs> a straight banger. And so look, this is the Bill Conch desktop biometric gun safe. And if you saw the little uh, intro that I did, you'll see that for a budget desktop safe, this checks a lot of boxes for me. Okay, so let's kind of walk through what those boxes are. So number one box for me is capacity. You know, a lot of people, maybe it's their number one is the level of security that the safe provides. And that is important without a doubt, right? But for me, you know, any safe can get cracked. So there is no such thing as the, the unpenetrable safe. You know, if somebody wants to get in it, they can get in it. So for me, my number one thing is capacity. How many guns will this safe hold? And I got to say, fam, by size, uh, this is one of the larger gun safes out there. And I'll put up kind of the dimensions of the safe there. Uh, but even less important than dimensions is kind of how the safe is set up and how many guns it will hold. And... This safe, man, I would say, so there is a lower level of the safe, and now again, I'll top some B-roll up there. There's a lower level of the safe, and then there's a shelf, and there's an upper level. Now, if you look at my lower level, I have six full-size handguns with uh, red dots on all of them going across the bottom. And if I'm being honest, I could probably get one or two more on that bottom. So let's say you can put six to eight guns 
on the bottom. And then on the top shelf that goes and the shelf runs the full depth of the safe, I've only got two guns up there, but and I've got you know additional mags and stuff like that up there. Uh, but if I needed to, I could certainly put probably another two guns on top. So right now I've got eight guns in that safe. I could pretty safely, I know for sure, I can get 10, maybe 12. 10 to 12 guns on a desktop safe? Fam, fam. So when you talk about capacity, and believe me, I've looked, and if you guys have looked for gun uh, for, for desktop gun safes, you know that that is not easy to find a safe that can hold that kind of capacity. For some people, that holds their entire, that can hold their entire pistol collection. Okay, so now let's talk about how sturdy the safe is. The safe is very well made. It's a heavy safe. It's not, you know, a little lightweight throw around kind of say it is well constructed well put together um and i'll put some of the details of that up again in the uh up there so you guys can check out some of those details but it's a very well constructed safe so and very secure right and it can be you know you can you know lock it down if you want to bolt it down to something you can do that right so the first box is checked capacity, right? Second box is checked in terms of the quality of the construction and uh, how safe the safe is, right? Um, in terms of how easily it is pen penetrated, right? So check those two boxes. The next thing was functionality, like how does it function and what kind of features does the safe have? And man, I was I was pleasantly surprised. So there are multiple ways for you to gain access to the safe. The first way uh, you can gain access to the safe is via uh, biometric reading. So you can put in multiple uh, fingerprints that will allow you to gain access to the safe. And I gotta say, fam, I've tried out a lot of different safe and all biometric technology is not created equal. And the last thing you want when you need to gain access mm -hmm. to your safe is for, in an emergency situation, is for, for you know, mistakes, the, not being able to gain access to the safe quickly and efficiently. If you gotta do your finger for three or four times before the safe opens, then that's the problem. And so, and I've had safes that are that way, right? And so. This safe is very, very clean in terms of that. If, if I'm super rushing and I don't, you know, get a good press on the reader, will it say not recognized? Sure, that's what all biometric readers. But generally speaking, you know, I'd say probably 95% of the time when I go to put my finger on the trigger, it, it on, on the on the uh, on the biometric reader, it opens no problem. Even sometimes if I don't have my finger exact or whatever, it'll still, generally speaking, get a good read and will unlock the safe. And so it has a great biometric reader on it. That's one. It has a push button code that's a backup to the biometric reader, right? So if for some reason, you know, say you're not home and maybe your wife needs to gain access to it and she doesn't, you didn't get a chance to put her fingerprint in, then she can go with the code or whatever. Um, and maybe for some people, depending on the code, maybe that's even a little bit faster. So it has that as a backup. As a tertiary backup, there is an app that you can download uh, onto your phone, whether it's iPhone or uh, whether it's Android, and you can unlock your safe from your phone. So that's great. So that's three, right? Three. And lastly, it comes with two keys. It also has uh, positive reinforcement uh, with a voice that will tell you, oh, safe is now open. Oh, safe is closed. Uh, and so again, you get that positive reinforcement. So you know 
when you're like, oh, did I, did, did I lock the safe? The voice will help you remember, yeah, I did lock it, you know, or, or you think it's closed sometimes and it's not really closed. And I've seen that happen a lot, too, on, on safes where it's more of a tumbler system. And so, man, all around, fam, this safe is great. So I told you capacity is phenomenal. Uh, construction is well made. Um, multiple ways to gain access to the safe uh, and quality features that are consistent and that work. I haven't given you the, the, the number one positive about this. Now, if you compare this to the Vault-Tec MX, which is one of the, 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 the more well-known desktop safes that's out there, and I, again, went to Vault-Tec because I wanted everybody to hit me up about a desktop safe and wanted me to review a desktop safe. And since they had one of the most popular brands on the model, I asked them if they could supply me with one so that I could review it. I haven't, they had they didn't get back to me. So uh, I ended up finding this one. Now that Vault-Tec safe is expensive, fam. I want to say it's something like 800 bucks. 800 bucks for a desktop safe. And it has a lot of the features, all of the features that this has, and maybe from an aesthetic perspective it's a more attractive looking safe and i'll put up some b-roll to it there before you know i think it's i think it's smaller so it has less capacity aesthetically it's more pleasing it has all it, it on the exterior of the safe and the interior of the safe it's more pleasing but for that you pay eight hundred dollars now fam for more capacity for great construction for great features guess how much this bill conch desktop safe is running not eight hundred dollars let's start there not eight hundred dollars damn not seven hundred dollars not six hundred not five hundred not four hundred not three hundred i feel like those commercials you know those commercials where guess how much we're going to offer this to you today not three hundred dollars <laughs> Not $299.99. No, no, no. So not $400, fam. Not $300. $200, fam, on Amazon. Stop it. Stop it. $200 to be able to store 10 to 12 firearms in a sturdy, well-constructed safe that has a, bio, a consistent, well-done biometric reader um, that has push button, that has a phone app. Man, for real? For real? Look, sign me up. They got my money. <laughs> they got my money on that one. So, again, fam, if you're looking for a desktop safe and you're looking for something that's going to, that can hold a good amount of firearms, like I said, 10 to 12 firearms, um, even ones with red dots. And that's the other thing. A lot of these gun safes are, are old models and they don't recognize that nowadays people are throwing red dots on their guns. And so if you design your safe to fit a full size gun so that it stands up, right? But then you don't factor in the additional size of the red dot on top so that people then end up having to take off the shelf if there's a shelf, then that's a problem because you just lost a whole nother level of storage. And some, some gun safes don't even have a shelf. They're just that and you put the guns in a hole. But if you don't have enough clearance for the red dot, then what good is a safe? So for a safe that can hold, honestly, 10 to 12 weapons with red dot mount, red dots mounted on all the guns, um, and again, it's super well constructed, has all the features that we talked about, for 200 bucks, fam, that's a steal. That is a steal. And you know how I do, fam. When I find something that I think you guys can take advantage of, um, because a lot of times, too, we spend so much on our firearms, we want to have good stores, but man, like $800 for that Vault-Tec, that's another gun, fam. <laughs> that's another gun, right? So look, check out the Bill Con Safe. I think you guys will like it. And um, until next time, fam, as always, take care of one another and peace.